So here the claim is if you burn cow dung with ghee, it converts air into oxygen. Uh, it is a very funny claim. Uh, and actually that, I mean, that is that at least that should not happen in the world where we live in. That may happen in the, the kind of Harry Potter kind of world, but not in the real world. Because uh, first of all, we know that to burn anything, we actually consume oxygen. If you recall that if you take a candle, if you uh, uh, cover it with a glass, that, 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 that candle cannot continue to lit because of lack of oxygen. So any burning process consumes oxygen, it does not produce oxygen. Secondly, in air, we have 80% nitrogen and say 20% oxygen. If I claim that I can convert air into oxygen, what I mean is that I'm converting nitrogen into oxygen. Now these two are two elements. Now converting one element into other is you may do that, but you need something like nuclear reactor or something at temperature that you can get inside the core of sun, not just simply burning cow dung. So this claim is absolutely false and it has no basis. And I believe even a school going student with their basic knowledge of physics and chemistry should be able to tell that it is an absolutely false claim. If the oxygen level goes below 92, the uh, uh, oxygen saturation in your blood, you should immediately contact a medical professional and you should get oxygen. Uh, at, and during that process in the lack of oxygen, one advice that is called the prone line, that is you lie on your chest rather than lying on your back. So if you lie on your chest, your back gets an opening and your lung can expand much easily which helps in oxygen supply. So that is something that can be done at least at the home for some time, but you have to go to rush to an hospital as soon as you can.